He said, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he brought me and returned me to the bank of the river. When I returned there, along the bank of the river were very many trees on one side and the other. Then he said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region, goes down into the valley, and enters the sea. When it reaches the sea, its waters are healed. You see, there's very many you can... Uh, if you know anything about the Word of God and have studied the Word of God very much, you'll, you know that the trees, when He talks about trees, He's talking about men. All through the Scripture, when he, a lot of times when He talks about trees, He talks about men. And you have to understand that where this, river, where this river flows, there is people on both sides. He's letting him see that. But you see, you've got to understand something that even though this great river had power, this great river had power, and it has power. The effectiveness of the river in that it in that what it will do for the trees or the people or where it's going is only when it reaches its destination. It said when it pours into the sea, it heals the water. It heals the... And he was talking about the Dead Sea there, but, but, but you have to understand what he's talking about. We, you see, we want a little bit of the water, but we don't want that water to take us to its destination because its destination a lot of times is not where we want to go. A lot of times we want stability where we're at instead of healing uh, Letting God heal everything at its purpose or at its destination. You see, there was many trees on, on either side of the river, but when it dumped into the sea, all, all that the water touched the lived. Can I let you understand something? I don't know about you, but I don't want just anybody laying hands on me. I want somebody that has, that has went with the river to where there's something in it. I want, I want something... Uh, I want someone that has got out there and has has flowed with the river and I know that they are in their purpose. Because when they're in their purpose, the water will heal everything that it touches. This is where the church is headed. Taking the limitations from the church. This is what's taking the limitations of it. You see the water. What makes it so hard is a lot of times we don't understand where we're at right now. A lot of times we don't understand because we're being led out the northern door instead of the eastern gate. A lot of times we don't understand that if we will just get out in the water and let the water do its work in us, let the water, let the Spirit of God take us and use us the way He wants to, quit trying to work under our stability, but work under His power 
our purpose and our destination, do you understand what I'm talking about? When you lift your feet up and the water is flowing, the river is flowing, it won't take you but a few minutes to be where you're, where the water's going. Now you can be, you can fight against it and it'll take you and you probably never will get there. But when you go with the water, your destination becomes what? His. Your purpose becomes His purpose. This is where the church of God is going. And I'm not talking denomination. This is where the church of God is going. We have got to we have got to lift our feet up and quit trying to have the stability of man and take on the instability of the spirit because to have the working of the spirit it has to take away the stability of man it has to take away the stability of man. You'll only accomplish very little under your stability. Because at the best, you'll only get 30 and 60. You'll never get into the 100 until you pick your feet up. Then you're in His purpose. Because you're in His destination and He'll take you. A lot of times we don't want to do that though because it wasn't an easy thing when, the, when, when Jesus was baptized there in the river of Jordan and the Spirit led Him immediately into the wilderness. A lot of times we don't want that. But Jesus told John, you need to baptize me for the fulfillment of righteousness. Not that, I'm, not that I'm greater than you are, but because the Word said in Malachi there was one coming that would fulfill righteousness. So therefore you need to baptize me that I can be led into what God has set for me to be led into. You see, the church. I, I, I look at I look at what uh, at what Jesus told Peter, told Simon Peter, when Peter stood and the word said he rebuked Jesus. Oh no, you're not going to be crucified. You're not. And he looked at him. Let me tell you something. I've heard it preached all my life. Well, hey, Jesus spoke to Satan. No, he didn't. He spoke to Peter, and he told him. He said, Satan. And he spoke to him. This is what I've come here for. This is what I come here for. I have to go to the cross. The water, that's where it's taken me. That's where it's taken me. I'm sorry, but that's where it's taken me. You see, we may not understand a lot of things, but if you have got your feet up, that's where He's taking you. You see, it didn't stop at the cross. It stopped at the resurrection. We see the stopping place to be the cross when it's not the stopping place, you see. The stopping place is sitting at the right hand of the Father. That's where Jesus is at. That's where He's exalted. Yes, we, He had to go through some things to get there, but because He was in water that He flowed with the Spirit regardless of what He went through, His purpose was fulfilled. Why is that? Because the water took Him to the purpose. Had He not went to the 